let's work on this one. This is the one that I showed you in the previous video. And I'm going to put the glass of wine in here. And in this one, there's not that much um, of the wine showing inside the glass. Most of it is already outside. So let's start with the lightest red. And it's better if I tell you that I need to bring my glasses because, you know, you probably will not know which one it is. And I'm going to skip the rim of the glass. Let me bring my glasses. We are using the exact same colors we used before. So I, I believe the... Oops, this lightest one color is the alizarin, no, not the alizarin, the cat red. There's cat red, alizarin, the violet, and the permanent blue violet. And I'm putting first the lightest one. I believe I forgot to put the magenta in, the, in there, but that's all right. Maybe we don't need to put the magenta in here. And we're just going to fill this um, in here. So we're putting the paint that is left inside of the cup. We're combining this in here with what we already have in there. Okay, so then um, I'm going to go to deeper to the alizarin and start um, making it darker. Again, we are skipping the rim of the glass. I'm going to repeat this color because it's like fading. It's need more than it's not well um, base coated. It needs a second coat of the light color. And probably I'm going to dry it. I'm going to a second coat of this color before I continue with the alizarin because I was not seeing. So I'm gonna finish with this coat, dry it and come back. So I am going to continue this pillage of paint in here. Okay. And um, I'm going to try that and come back. So uh, let's start um, building the dark colors with the alizarin in the center. And it is very similar. So let's add the alizarin to the, the violet. And it is, the, the canvas is, is um, warm, so the paint is like drying. Let's dry it. My name Violet plus the Deep Violet. And put it on the edge.
I also going to put it in here. And in here. Okay, let's add a tiny bit of the cadmium and in here. And we have to dry this again and put it inside. So the darkest one. There's too, there was too much white uh, water in my brush, so that's not going to work too well. So I'm going to dry it. But then you need more of this dark. Okay, so I said I put too much on my... Okay, so the dark I'm going to let's put more red in here like that. I am going to um, bring some white. I'm going to bring back my. Um, I have some of the background left, which I saved because I want to see my my um, I want to see be able to see my um, pattern, and I don't see it. Okay, so I put it that color, the background color on top. It's probably not the right place, but that's the right. And since I put that without the pattern, I'm just going to check that it's all right. Because I do have a pattern in a balloon paper. I'm just going to bring that and check oh I did perfect that's perfect <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm gonna bring white and start um, bringing some of the colors of the glass Turn umber, blue, white, and I'm gonna use black from the to make it easier. On the last video, I show you how to mix your black, but I'm gonna just use the ivory black that I have from Liquitex Basics, and I'm gonna use that for my 
because the bottom section of this uh, is black. So I'm probably going to start putting that black. In the so I'm gonna base coat this with the black I need to put this black in here. Only one skimpy coat of black. <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> uh. I see some red, so I'm going to put the red at the end of this. And I don't need to tell you why I see the red, because I need to tell you. Well, I'm telling you, because everything reflects so all this wine spillage is gonna reflect in here so I'm gonna put some red in here and I'm gonna also put some blue so let me bring the blue it's too too big for <laughs> to be put in here so I'm gonna put some blue too and the blue, it's probably not blue, this blue, but I just want to repeat the colors that we use already. And I'm going to put this blue, but hmm, better not. You know what? I'm going to clean that and I'm going to bring the correct blue that I am seeing in here. It's not the ultramarine blue. Oops. Just put back the black. And I'm going to bring a blue similar to that one. Okay. So the color that I am seeing is more like the Talos Cyanine Blue. Liquitex Basics. And <laughs> this is so small, but I am. I want to put it anyway. So let's see. So let's go to this. Um, this Talos Cyanine Blue and put it here let's put some white on top of that Continue with the black. Oh my god. Forgot I have black, white in the brush. Gonna try 
in order to see the next stage I have to put some white in between so let's put some white because otherwise you will not see that um, next uh, layer and let's put again the whiting here oops that was too much with the thalassine and blue the black Go back to the black. Okay, I'm trying to do lines with this black. Let's go to the black. This brush is too... I need a uh, liner not this big, but oh well. Let's go to the brown. Okay, so I'm going to take that burnt umber and start um, putting some cut shadowing here. That's not the right color. That their number is too. It's not dark enough. So I'm gonna take white, that burnt umber, white, and a tiny bit of black. Make it darker.
snake. Uh, that's better. Gonna darken also in here with this color. I don't know why it is not going these paints are not too good to, for doing this I think because they are a tiny bit dry let's try again I just want a coat of color in there. And in here. Same color. And a little bit in here. It's not a, it's not too smooth that, uh, that's why I prefer doing this with oils, but this is what we have. I'm going to start putting the blue in the areas that they go. And that is the Parosian and blue. Which is so transparent. I'm gonna put a transparent color of the Tanyo Talos Yan and Blue and I will be right back. So this is where I put it and I added white to that side. Now I'm gonna put the black. In between. It is very hard to see it. Um, Especially these colors, this black is also transparent. But let me bring some more of that black. It's looking, it is on a very ugly stage, but trust me, it will get better. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay, so this is the black. black Another coat of this black. You have to put several coats because it's, they're transparent colors. Okay, I'm gonna dry that and put, put the colors again. I'm gonna take the background color plus the uh, burn umber and smooth smooth this a tiny bit because uh, it's not too smooth for my liking and you're gonna be able to do that with the background color the same with the with this one Okay, tiny bit more. That's tiny bit better. Bring in the white. 
So I'm going to take white. on my brush. And it has several um let's put it, this one in here first. There's a very strong one in here too. When you start adding your white, you have to make sure that um, you have dry whatever is underneath. And that was supposed to be the other blue, not the white, but that's okay. We can take with the blue and do a... Uh, how do you say? Uh, <laughs> A float. So much blue right now. Let's see. Um, there's blue, this blue with white in here. in there, in here, and in the other one. Okay, so let's put this in here. And um, slightly bit more of the blue, and in this rimming here, okay. So let's clean these and put just. I'm going to first let me do it also on the bottom section. And um, let's see. I'm going to dry it and bring white. Let's see. Strong white in here. There's a lot of white um, in this piece. Mm -hmm. 
let's put some of the white with the pink with the red Okay, so this is basically, now I have to put some of the, of this background color in the middle of the black in here, which I want to do um, on my own, because it's going to be, I have to use my um, liner and my <laughs> magnifying glasses to do that. But um, this is basically what it is. Um, just put more of that. We need like to put some some red inside of the. Um, let's put some red inside of here. And black. Put with uh, the dark purple. And I have to do all that. <laughs> My eyes are not too good, so I have to go closer. And I will show you the end result. Now you're going to take a little bit of the white plus the gray and start uh, putting it on the sides the white plus gray here is the final piece I did not record the whole because the whole painting of this glass because it took me a lot of time uh, but I did record it the other one because it was easier uh, but I did record um, the uh, most of it